light coming at you from a durian farm in Malaysia. This place is wicked and definitely a video about this place coming soon. Got some free time so I thought I would make a video that I've been wanting to make for a long time, uh, which is a proper review of my backpack, the bag I've been rocking for over three years now, which is the Tom Bin Synapse 25 liter bag. Let's get into it. All right, so I apologize in advance for my bag not being the cleanest, but to be honest, it's not really something that I care about, like having a super clean and pretty bag all the time. It could use a little bit of a wash, but um, it doesn't really bother me so much. So here's the bag, Tom Bin Synapse 25 liter. You can see the logo right here on the front, Tom Bin. Of course, this is like selfie mode, so it might be backwards, but Tom Bin. It's got a little plane going over the mountain here, and it says, since 1972, portable culture. Up for interpretation. So if you don't know about Tom Bin, it's a company out of Washington. I'm not sure if it's Seattle, I'm not sure what city, but Washington and the United States, they've been making bags since 1972. Um, and they make some very different alternative backpacks, I feel, with um, some really cool color schemes, some really cool designs and uh, pocket layouts. Um, yeah, you so here's me check trying on the Synapse 25. Um, I'm about five foot before, ten. Put a link to and Tom Bin, Bin says this bag is suitable for people five foot six to six foot six. So this bag has six pockets. We got the main pocket on top, just goes all the way around like a horseshoe. And then we got two pockets in the middle, a deeper one that goes down maybe about eight or nine inches, a smaller one right in front of that that goes down about five inches. It can fit uh, like an iPhone. Um, and then these two symmetrical pockets on the sides, one here, one here that fit they fit quite a bit. Um, and then this big bucket pocket on the bottom, which can easily fit like two sweaters. Um, it can fit a lot. And this pot, this backpack, which something that a lot of people don't like is that it is not built with like a proper laptop um, safety. It's got inside here like this kind of school folder or paper kind of pouch. This is where I put my laptop. Um, I have a case on my laptop, not really worried about it breaking, but it doesn't have like a real sturdy laptop compartment built into it, but they do make their own uh, patented uh, laptop cache system that clips on to these two holes right here and then you put the laptop inside their laptop sleeve and it can actually slide in and out of this very easily so I think they kind of made that with like thinking TSA check-in in mind to just have like your laptop be able to slide in and out you don't even have to like remove it from your backpack you just slide it out and then you just slide it back in after it's gone through security so the materials on this bag are what I think is like a 1000D Cordura nylon. I'm not sure if that's exactly right, but either way, the materials on this bag are so nice and so strong. I mean, if you tried to go at this thing with a machete, yeah, you're not going to penetrate it. This stuff is like bulletproof, military grade on the outside. Um, yeah, and at the beginning, when you get this bag, the outside is kind of stiff, but after you have it for a few months, it gets that real nice broken in, kind of just like softer, looser feel, which I absolutely love. 
Um, so yeah, I love the materials on this bag. I love how it feels. I'm kind of a material nerd, so, um, you know. And then on the inside, we got this, uh, like, lime green um, halcyon fabric that's, like, checkered. Um, and that makes it, you know, they put these crazy colors on the inside so that when you open the pocket, you know, and it's, like, nighttime or something, there's it's kind of reflective, and it's, like, the pocket is really bright, so you can you can see the stuff that's in there as opposed to, you know, having just like a black fabric on the inside and then makes it harder to find things. So it's kind of well thought out. And uh, so yeah, this green is on the inside of every pocket in the entire bag. Uh, I dig it. And so the zippers we got on just on the main pocket here, YKK number 10s, these super beefy, bulky zippers and it comes with these zipper pulls as well which i've had ever since i got the bag they're really nice haven't broken in like four years and i'm sure they would replace them or you could get replacements really cheap if these zipper pulls broke but these zippers are holding up really well no rust um like i said ykk number 10 on the main pocket and ykk number eight zippers on all the other pockets and the inside of every pocket has this lined waterproof uh kind of like aqua guard seal on the inside so i've worn this thing many many times in the rain this does not come with a rain cover so i've never used it with a rain cover i've always just had it on my back in the rain never once have I worried about getting anything wet because it doesn't, water does not really get into this bag. The outside of the bag will get wet, but it will dry quickly. But the stuff inside, laptop, notebooks, phone, nothing has ever gotten wet and nothing has ever gotten damaged. So shout out to this, uh, this waterproof seal. It works quite well. So yeah, Tom Ben really seems to be about functionality and organization a lot um, with these little O-rings that they got here. They make a lot of products like wallets, toiletry kits, little kind of like bags like this that are made to hold specific things like your SIM cards, your pencils or whatever. You clip it onto this O-ring and then it doesn't fall out of the bag. Kind of like, I'll show you an example here of my... Um, cutlery kit whatever you want to call it it's clipped here onto this o-ring with a little keychain so that it doesn't it never falls out but it's always right here i can just like get it out take out what i need which is like bamboo fork toothbrush straw knife um you know so i like to be sustainable don't like using that plastic you know um so yeah i keep this thing right here and it never falls out uh pretty convenient so stuff like that uh tom ben yeah i think they put a lot of thought into this bag although it looks so simple from the outside the functionality can be very high so i haven't really talked about the back yet um this handle not gonna lie it's um pretty thin um but it doesn't really feel flimsy it feels firm i've had this bag like loaded up and i've hung it you know on hooks many times and uh this is not showing any sign of wear you know it looks brand new the handle really um it's just kind of thin but it doesn't really bother me um the straps uh are a little bit dirty right now but the straps are like they call them this edgeless foam so they're just kind of flat they don't really um they don't really have like big big things on the edges like other backpacks do and they're quite comfortable i will say um they have this curvature they're not just like straps they have this curvature that's kind of designed um for the human body i guess and yeah the foam is nice pretty pretty thick um yeah just very very durable very comfortable foam um we're seeing a little bit of wear here but i mean that's nothing it's just one thread coming out after what three or four years of use so um i say it's holding up pretty well 
They got one little plastic uh, sternum, adjustable sternum strap. Um, and this bag also comes with a hip belt, a really thin hip belt. It's just made out of a material like this. And this bag is kind of small. Uh, I don't put enough stuff in here to really feel like I need to use the hip belt. So I just took it off a long time ago. But the hip belt, um, you can see it goes through these loops right here and on the other side. So removable hip belt, that's nice because some bags have these really bulky hip belts that you just wish you could take off, but you can't. So shout out to Tom Ben for that. The back panel here is just kind of like this mesh material, very comfortable on the back, um, decently breathable. Uh, I sweat sometimes when I wear this thing, but also I often hike in like, you know, hot places. So it could just be the temperature, but uh, overall it's pretty breathable um, and a very, very comfortable wear. And one more thing about the outside, there is this uh, pocket on the bottom. I mean, not pocket, a uh, loop on the bottom, which is meant to hold, I believe, like a light like a light or a reflector or something that Tom Ben sells that you put on here when you're riding your bike. So it's like flashing. Um, I don't ride a bike a lot. Um, <laughs> and I kind of wish that they had made like multiple loops, like three or four loops down here. Because one time I tried to attach a tent to the bottom of this bag and it was just like, going all over the place it wasn't staying like straight and i felt like if there were two or three loops here at the bottom of the bag i could have really like tied it and it would have kind of stayed sturdy on the bottom of the bag and that would have been cool but i can also just you know sew my own loops onto the bottom of this you know it's no big deal but that's something i would do differently um but yeah besides that really no complaints this bag has been my go-to the only bag i've used for three and a half years now um it's held up great not showing any signs of deterioration or falling apart it's just helped me really in my mind to just like let go of things that i don't need to bring with me you know that's what that's what my idol chase reeves <laughs> the bad god Chase Reeves turned me onto this bag. If you haven't seen Chase Reeves videos, um, go check him out. Cause like I said, he is the best bag reviewer on YouTube in my opinion. And he turned me onto this bag a couple years ago. And what he told me is that this bag forces you to question yourself and ask, do you really need that? Do you really need to bring that shit with you? And that is exactly what this bag asks of me. And yeah, I just really dig it. I really dig the, the minimal style these days. Um, less is more. If you're curious about what I pack in this bag and like everything that I own and how I, how I carry it, um, I think I made a video about that before. I'll link that in the description. Um, haven't been too active on YouTube lately, so I kind of forgot like the videos that I made in the past. But um, yeah, I will show you two random cool things um in this bag one is that i have this breaking bad pin here on the um the tag it's a uh, if you can see that it's a little walter white um so that's cool <laughs> just a little bit uniqueness about my bag um another thing is I, I have these patches on here vietnam and thailand flags i used to have more flags and then i realized after seeing other people that had flags on their bag like this is kind of this like superficial like look at how many countries i've been to style so i took some of the other patches off and these i just haven't gotten around to ripping them off but i'll probably take these off at some point and put something more neutral like something that i like and besides that i want to show you how you can carry a laptop in this bag comfortably all right here we go so in this bag, we just got this big bucket compartment, right? Super big bucket, um, fits everything you need. So what I do is in the back of the bag, I put 
my packing cube. That way, the thing that is going against my back is the packing cube, right? It's right here. So I have the soft clothes on my back instead of having a laptop on my back. And when I take a, my laptop and I put it in here, in this compartment, this middle compartment, so then my laptop is kind of in the middle of the bag and it kind of does this like balancing thing, just keeping the weight like centered in the middle. So yeah, and then I also have this cushy packing cube going up against my back. So that's a little hack for you. Um, if you're worried about no laptop sleeve in the bag. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. That's my review of the Tom Ben Synapse 25. This bag is flipping awesome. Highly recommend it. Um, it is on the pricier side. I didn't mention the price. I think when I got this bag, it was like $210 which seems like a lot for like something that just looks like a little LL Bean school bag, but the functionality and the durability is top notch. So um, Tom Ben have a lot of other bags as well. If you want something bigger, something smaller, or just a different style, I just recommend check, if you're looking for a bag, just, just check out Tom Ben because they make some, some really cool stuff. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Give that a like if you liked it subscribe if you want to see more stuff i'll try to be posting more consistently these days um and yeah thanks for watching peace